The Board of Elementary and Secondary Education, or BESI, is responsible for the policies that could determine the success or failure of more than 720,000 public school children around the state. We sat down with all the candidates running for the seat in District 6 to hear what their plans are for fixing what many say is a broken education system. Ronnie Morris is the first to admit he was anything but a traditional college student. I uh, went back to school at 32, graduated at 37 with an engineering degree, and uh, it, was, it was really a life-changing experience for me in the sort of thing where something changes your life, you want to share it with other people. Years later, he would teach math and physics, sparking his true passion for education. I went back to LSU, and, uh, and I, formed, I founded an endowed scholarship for teachers. Uh, for students pursuing a career in education. And I've contributed to that endowment uh, for the last 19 years. It's now the largest endowment in the state of Louisiana for students pursuing a career in education. He also founded a nonprofit, We Produce Grads, promoting STEM education and projects at area schools. Morris says he's running for a seat at the state's education policymakers table to work with the other board members to create effective policy uh, that would include innovative approaches for STEM education, but, but mainly it's just about engaging kids. And, uh, and, you know, we're in the 21st century, you know, there's a lot of really creative uh, approaches we can do to, to engage kids. My focus, if I'm elected, will be on early childhood education. I think we can do a better job uh, identifying special needs um, early and, and addressing them timely. Uh, secondly, I think we can do a better job preparing our kids for kindergarten. We need to provide opportunities for, for kids that may not have those opportunities to get, to get their brain stimulated, you know, get them involved in programs where uh, experts, you know, can help them with that brain stimulation and, and, and uh, make sure they've got a starting, um, an equal chance at the starting line. I have always had a call to service. I um, graduated from high school and went into the military where I served four years as a Navy SEAL. I um, <clears throat> was called into ministry when I was in college to work with young people as a youth pastor and uh, would just learn the importance of raising up our, our youth uh, to be the next leaders and taxpayers and lawmakers uh, of the next generation. Greg Spears is a military veteran who also took a tour of duty in the classroom as a math teacher and football coach at Ponchatoula High School. I just learned uh, from the inside how to, how to reach those kids and the struggles that they deal with and the struggles that, that our teachers deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. And um, <clears throat> I just, I really feel like we need good people in, the, in those positions. He says one of the main reasons he's running for a Bessie seat is to replace and repeal what he believes is still Common Core. It is a, one of the, the greatest detriments to our education system in Louisiana and it has been for nearly a decade. He says he will also tackle a number of other issues if elected finding a, a suitable contract for a state superintendent, um, teacher evaluations, uh, school accountability systems. Um, I have my, my views and my opinions on all of these things and things I'd like to get done, but um, teacher attrition is a big one that I'd like to resolve. Uh, we're losing thousands of teachers every year, and <clears throat> I think a, a big result of that is stems from Common Core, uh, which strips, strips them of their creativity. I originally decided to run around October of last year. Sierra Hart is a community organizer and an eighth grade Louisiana history teacher who is hoping her experience in the classroom will change history, so to speak, helping lift Louisiana from the bottom of most educational categories. I've engaged with a numerous amount of elected officials and what I've learned is it doesn't matter how well you know how to write a policy, if your heart isn't with the people, then your skill set as far as policy writing or even being engaged with policy won't be as effective. She says she decided she needed to help shape Louisiana's educational policy and help teachers like herself get the tools they need to help students in our state succeed. So I may not be writing the policies, but the policies affect me every day. So I have a vast understanding of the policies across the board, and I'm hoping that with that, I'm able to express to people, like, even though I may not be a policy leader for the last 20 years, I'm in education every day, and I'm on the front lines every day. She says a lot needs to be done to fix the state's broken system, and she's ready to get to work right away. I'm appreciative of John White and his policies over the last eight or so years, but I believe that going into a new gubernatorial term that we should have a new innovative leader. There are so many policies that have taken place that to me shows a slight removal or understanding of what's happening in the classroom. And 
I believe that we need to also increase the MFP formula. That way it's an every year increase and not just a convenient increase mm -hmm. during an election cycle. I am running to be a part of Bessie because I'm a veteran educator and I am not pleased with a lot of the educational reforms that have taken place over the last 10 years. Dr. Vicki Tolliver August says there's too much pressure on teachers and students because of high stakes testing and what she calls a waste of money. The current Bessie board implemented policies and procedures to prohibit schools from popping up per se overnight, these private schools. It stipulated that the schools had to be in existence for two years with self-sufficient funding, meaning that parents were paying tuition prior to being allowed to participate in the Louisiana Scholarship Program, also known as the voucher system. She says those schools haven't proven that they are more effective, but are basically taking valuable resources from already struggling Louisiana public schools, and it's something she would work to change immediately. Tolliver August also believes it's time to look for a new superintendent. I'm not sure why Bessie cannot come to a consensus. If they cannot renew his contract, then they should have, in my opinion, started looking for a new state superintendent. She says she would also work to stop the flood of charter schools in the state. Far too many charter schools are um, expanding without actually showing in terms of a school performance score where they are much better than the local private schools. Uh, for the life of me, I can't understand why we are allowing a lot of these big industries to come in. Uh, a lot of charter schools are actually ran by charter management organizations from out of state. A lot of these individuals are funneling money into the Bessie campaigns. And to me, that says that it's more about making money than providing our children with a quality education. The candidate who wins the District 6 seat replaces Kathy Edmonston, who's running for a seat in the House of Representatives.